Right, Yuffie, it's a decent camera, so I thought. Over a year and a half, not impressed. Stop working. The other one out the front's working fine. Should we open it up and have a look? As no one else has done this that I can find, let's do it. So I've taped up, put a bit of gaffer tape around the, the dome bit, just not to scratch it up. Taking these screws out, and then there's a screw under there and a screw under there. That one does nothing. And we need to take this off from here. Now, before I slice my hand, I'm guessing that needs to come off. Because I'm guessing there's some screws behind that for that to come off. So they've certainly not made this easy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Slowly, see this is coming out. You have to take that off, and then with something, just prise that open. Once that comes off, you can't take it out off much further, so you've got to lift up like that, and that gives you a little look under there. Those two screws are for the hinge. I'm going to take them out next and see what happens. So I need to put this back in to release that. I'm trying to do it one-handed. Yeah, there we go. Come back out. Go somewhere safe. All right. Those two screws are out. Let's see. I'm gonna to have to put the camera down again. 10 minutes later, still none the wiser. Looking a little closer, you can see that. Same the other side. The no best way to get these out is a little blade. Pop them up. Now those are out, this all comes off, apart from the little rubber seal underneath, you've got to be careful of, it does lift up. And there's a little cable there, which we're just gonna pull out. And there's another cable in there. So I'll just come back after I've disconnected that. All right, that did not come off easy. Well, that one came off okay. That one nearly chewed up. I nearly ripped it apart trying to get it off, and I might have even, that's why it's just a little rubber seal, might have even pulled it off the uh, circuit board traces. <coughs> that was all right. This isn't good. These do not eat pouches. Mm. They work for so long, but you can see the water in there, look. What's going on? Come on, Yuffie. Up your game. All right, have a little tied up. Check that. Check that, and uh, let's take these nappy pouches out and see how I'll get on. All right. So what are we looking at? I have no idea. However, those cables there, they go to the LED bits. So I'm going to disconnect those because I think these four screws need to come off, but. I'm not sure because they're connected to the button board. There's another four screws at the bottom. So I'm thinking undo the bottom ones, disconnect these like there's like four connectors that go to the bottom corners, one here, one there. Don't they IR? You see these? So, looking at those, how can you? You see, there's one there, one there, one up there, and another one up there. So, I'm guessing these red and black cables are for the infrared. Um, don't want to get too involved with that one because that looks like camera motor. Ooh. 
HD feeds or I don't know, some sort of bollocks. <clears throat> so I'm going to disconnect those two, which are I'm guessing wireless. These just slipping in out, but I'm going to try and leave them in place. So I'm going to undo those. Um, have a look. Clip that one off. Clip that one off. Have a look at those. And maybe try and take the whole lot out in one. Obviously, you've got the USB there, but I think that's just to the surface. I might try and shove it over that way, but it's up. Pull it out. Um, that's where I'm at the minute. Coming up next, who knows? Taking all the screws out. I ended up having to take out all these little black ones as well. There's one there, one there. You know, that's that's like getting your tweezers in there and taking them out. So everything on this board, outside the board, has been disconnected. Because when I tried to pull it up with these connected, these were sort of stay in place and they weren't moving. So also, I had to take this out because it was poking through there. And as I thought, that USB is fine. Because everything's connected, it all comes out. There it is. Covered in water. For fuck's sake. Come on, Yuffie. What are you playing at? Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing these are the motion sensors. Um, I don't think I need to take them out. They, they don't look wet, but I'll make sure. That there is your stop for one side. It goes past. There's a little hall effect sensor there. It goes through there. And 180 or 360 even goes to there. I'm good at my degrees, aren't I? So <clears throat> I'm going to have a little look around, see what's wet. If there's anything in there. Because I was getting sound, but I wasn't getting video. And then it decided, oh, I'm going to give you nothing. And turn myself off and fill myself up with water. I am going to take this top board off. I've taken all the connectors out. The motor, the centre one, that one. This one, literally, it's a little clip. That. And that gold part should come out. In there that comes apart easy enough cables are through the middle poke the foam out adhesive on the back but not too bad that comes out and the cables come out and that board is now in need of two hands bollocks so here's the main motherboard brain box whatever you want to call it uh, yeah, couldn't really see any water on it. Um, I see a sort of thermal pad on there. Um, yeah, the backside's pretty clean. No sort of giveaways there. Here's the motor and camera housing. I'm going to take those three screws off, and I'm assuming that piece will come off with the motor. I'm going to zero <coughs> that there, put it in a it's nicely in a gaffer tape roll doesn't poke through um, yes yeah, so I'm going to zero that there and take that off I'm not sure what next I've got these screws here those screws there oh, they move interesting and then the ones on the outside but I have noticed right there Bit of water. So, do I open that bit up, or do I go in from the top? Before I take anything else apart, that bearing. See those two little, got three holes for the screws and two sort of spigot things. Those locate into those two holes. The two larger holes and the three screws are the fixing holes. So that's what that's for. Interesting. Put a little line to just to mark it so that when it goes back, it goes in the right position. That comes out. On there. Nice little drop of water in there. Isn't that lovely, isn't it? 
I thought I might as well take that off. Good job I did. Soaking. I thought it was oil, but it's water. Seriously. Needle. Next thing to take off is these little cover screws. All Phillips. It's got a little keyway on it. Goes in there. The other side. That's the motor. It's got a little shaft on it as well. Okay. Well, being gentle, spread the legs open a bit. There you go. There she is. Boom. I'm going to go inside because what was happening when it was doing its calibration movements, it would get to a certain point and then I'll lose picture. So I'm wondering if there's water inside of this. Because there was everywhere else. Four screws. Let's have a look. I'm going in. That stood off quite easily. Ooh, another circuit board. Shall we? Yeah. Well, that's those five screws out. Let's have a look. Ooh. Be careful with that little stringy ribbon cable. So I took out one screw there, and one screw there, and that released that plastic cover that covered these two connectors and a bit of circuit board various. Um, can't see any water. That's sealed, that ribbon cable. I'm not going to touch it because that end's been through the wars, coming out through all these different holes and all sorts of pulling and tugging. Um, I'll be surprised if I'm, if it works again. I'll be, well, I'll be surprised if I can get it back together. But yeah, so that's, that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to start putting this back together, uh, double checking as I go, as it clean the lens. It's from, uh, yeah, I don't know whose that is. Um, yeah, interesting. Lots going on. Yeah, I'll check there's no water in there. There's a little bit of sealant. I thought that was water, but it's just sealant. Yeah. As to my organising of the screws, as you can see, it's um, yeah, a bit of a lucky dip. To be honest, they're all pretty much the same. Um, yeah, trying to keep track as best as possible. Obviously, that's the motor one. Um, those two are for that. There's the covers, outside screws. Wish me luck. Well, that's gone well. It's gone back together. No screws missing. Or screws left over, even. That was tricky to put in and getting the right tension because you've got to adapt, allow for the amount of cable in there. Just going to twist 360. Plenty of movement in there. Slacking the cables so it doesn't pull it tight through that bit. Um, yeah, fairly pleased with that. I gave it a good blowout, squirt with alcohol, and then a blowout again, a bit of can air. Now, I'm looking in here, I gave that a good old dry out, uh, gave it a little blow around in there, some water spraying around. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at one of these uh, under, I've taken the screws off. Um, just want to see what's that like? Is that right? It's clean, yeah, it's clean, there's no water around it. Um, can't see any water in there. Yeah, that looks alright. Uh, that I've tried to take off with the screws, but it's glued. The cable's glued in there, and um, that's going to those. So it's only light power, really. LED power. Maybe a bit of brainage in there. But yeah, nothing to worry about, I don't think. A little clean up and put it back together. That's everything back together. Everything's screwed down, everything plugged back together. Obviously that bit goes up to the top bit. I've got the rubber seal. Um, it's obviously not done very well, has it? And then you start thinking, well, hang on a minute. They put two nappy bags in there. <clears throat> Is this because they knew water would get in there? And they thought, well, I'll put them two in there. That should, that should cover the year's warranty. And then after that, well, whatever, they'd have to buy a new one, wouldn't they? Does make you think, doesn't it? Did they know? 
that rubber seal ain't gonna hold up for that long. I'm gonna put some silicon around that and then silicon round that bit, that bit. Who knows? It might work, it might power up, it might not. We've given it a go. And put those back on, put some waterproof tape, put on braces, let's have a look. Very pleased it actually works. Result. So let's see how long that stays water free. Who knows? It wasn't easy to take apart. I'm pleased to have a look and give somebody else an idea of how to take it apart, what's inside. Yeah, good luck. <laughs>